He wants So here's the progression now. He starts to feed here. Boom. returns comes as a natural endeavor between or interaction between two people eventually this will break down but out of 50 cuts I didn't get tagged and if you do get tagged then note where you've been tagged and acknowledge the fact that in all likelihood if that's your first motion you didn't get tagged lethally Line. Just fence. Back up. Running this here. Running in. Running in from here. Just boom. The lead. From here now, I'll set it down. And then I'll cross the back. <laughs> and he will hit me hard in the abdomen with the top of his fist. That's how hard he's going to go, right? But you want to amp it up. So first we're just going to work this thrust. And now you'll recognise the importance of structural integrity. Because if I just go Ugh, like this, it will collapse. Right? So we're going to work stab line. He's literally boom, thrown your whole body. Really thrown everything you got. And you don't want to do that too many times, even with a helmet. You understand? So what we're looking at here is bending the stack. Remember, it's grab stack and then you boom, bend this. And you may not need to clear now. 
now take off or engage. Yeah, that's the deal. But if I'm here, boom, I fend this and I hit this and I clear this, the next thing you need is that. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. That I stop the stand with cooling on. I really need to clear the barrier and get gone to the flank. Do you understand? So there are a couple of ways that in which you can do it. So one way would be I fend this and then I clear this. When you clear this, you can choose two big, heavy, slapping hands and just slap it clear as you flank. There is potentially a strength, height, weight issue here. A small, skinny person against a large guy with a big hand is potentially a strength disparity. The way I think about it is, this one hand is no match for both my arms my whole body as I drop weight and the sheer desperation that I'll have in my head to get free. You know, this would be need to be an absolutely iron grip for me not to be able to <laughs> clear it. Does that make sense? Yeah. So the two ways in which you can clear it are nice, light, slap, heavy hands here, or hammer fist, hammer fist, and forearms, just literally boom, clear as you turn. And notice the safety valve, if I don't clear this as the stab comes, is that I've turned. Does that make sense? Mm. So the first thing you're going to do from here is fend the stab. Fending the stab is the only way it's going to work. Because if I try to grab two on one the hands, mm. and he retracts and keeps stabbing repeatedly, I'm going to get stabbed. So let's just look at that for a second. So I'm here, he's already grabbed me. Oh, do you can't listen. He's already grabbed me. No chance, you know what I mean? Right, he's already grabbed me, and I'm going to shoot my back. Stop. You're going to get stabbed. Alright? So, foolhardy to try and deal with this. You have to stop it. So the first thing that's coming, he's going to grab me and stab me in a half beat cake. And all I want you to do is bend the line. Right? So he does it here, just get that. Now there's a chance that he might put one in, retract and stab again, and I fend on the second, which would look like, now I get that, really big hit. There's a chance that could happen. And that shot is bottom of ribcage. So that's my line. So there's no fucking guarantees here at all. The only real safe margin where he could stab me and I'm likely to live would be not here, but actually here where I've actually been stabbed. Because if it's any lower than that, there's a good chance he's going to punch the bladder or he's going to hit the femoral. So this is lethal, this is lethal, this is the zone. So initially, if I'm indexed, I want some kind of structure with my hands that potentially protect that. I don't want to go like this. Do you understand? I want some kind of flinch response that drops my head and starts to raise my arms. That potentially is going to give me some cover. So the first part of the drill is going to grab and stab immediately, and I'm going to spin. Yeah? Grab and stab immediately. Yeah. As soon as a subject grabs or pushes you, you become defensive physiology. That's where you're going to give you all of it. Basically, the first thing that's going to happen is I'm just going to grab and stab on a half beat. I'm only going to stab once, but the person would stab multiple times, right? So basically it's just going to be <laughs> That's all he's doing. And you're really going to punch this stubby in, it's going to feel it. Just going to be <laughs> this. So you hear the heartbeat? ba -bum. Well, you've got between bat and boom to act. Probably about mm, 0.2 of a nanosecond. Fucking difficult. So when we take this drill to the progression, if you do it three times, you may successfully not get stabbed twice. But you're definitely getting stabbed once. So there's no guarantees. If you do get stabbed, what happens next depends on where you've been stabbed, how badly you're hurt, and how quickly and whether or not you can get over the shock on a psychological level before you can get back in the fight. If you've been in lots of fights before and you've grown up with violence and you're used to violence with weapons and you know this game, there's a good chance you'll fight back immediately. But it's if your first experience ever, 
as your asshole turns into a manhole, you will freeze. And if you freeze, you're dead. So this is a very bad situation that has no guarantees of success. Are we clear? Yeah. Right. So the very first thing you're going to do is to get a feeling of grab and stab, is you're going to go to the wall, here, back to your feet, and you are going to just literally come on your knees. That's what you're going to do. Grab and stab. Yeah? You're going to do that three times. And then on the third one, you're going to stab for a repeat. Once you start to take it up to the point where you're approaching real time speed, it's got to be dynamic. It's got to be seamless. It's got to flow. Excellent. Drop it! Drop it! Drop it! Good. He attempts to, he, to hold me up in some way with this. Oh, shit, it's this kind of response. Bring him back.